I've never been on a roller coaster that crashed before, James. Oh, you've never seen Final Destination 4, I guess. No, actually, I have not. Uh, that was the only good scene. Don't worry about it. All right. I'm very sorry you had to see that. Yes, well, the lack of professionalism has been a recurring event throughout the evening, but we will get by if we all get out of it alive, I guess. Yes, uh, Blaine does have a plan. What plan is that? To be honest, I don't know. He just told me that he has all I can do is trust him because what am I going to do? I'm just an admin. I do paperwork. And long after everyone passes here, you'll still be around doing paperwork, I assume. <laughs> you make it sound like such a fun life I have. Is there anything I can help you with? Does anyone know? Does anyone on site know? Does Elizabeth know? No. 049 knows. Why in cahoots with him? Well, 500 years ago, he killed my family. That's how he knows. He does that pretty often, I hear. Yes. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's and so what is the purpose of extending your life? What is your relationship with 035? Why do this? Well, to be honest, uh, I've been wondering and questioning that so many times over the years. I, I really just don't want what happened to me to happen to anyone else. I want to protect the world from people like 049, from monsters like 049. Were you trying to use 035 to neutralize 049? Because that cost us the life of an intern tonight. Uh, yes, it did. That is uh, deeply regrettable. That is the last thing I, I wanted. I wanted to protect you. I'll leave you to Waldo. We're going to try and fix this. Someone corrected me. It's in Final Destination 3. I see you, Harry to Platypus. But okay, where do we go? Level five thing. Outside, Sybil, the researcher, the conductor. There's so many options. Can I go in? You can. They are loose and they've been gaining a lot more power recently, so that room is definitely the safer choice for now. Well, who are we to pick the safer side? Hey, you know the lyrics. Sing along. Yes. Seems there was a mutiny on this side. Can you please come this way behind the table? We all know how Can you please go to this safe area. So would you rather fall quietly or be dragged kicking and screaming into oblivion? It's very sound. A lot of these have been questioned, no? Don't worry, I picked the right side. Yeah, I got it! Oh, yes, you are looking for the low 
Are you done, boss? Oh, yes. Thanks for the time, done. Indeed. <laughs> New hires. You must forgive me. This cruelty is necessary. All my allies must be rewarded for their assistance. I have no need for this cruelty myself. You see, I'm a man of medicine. I am a doctor. And I seek to bring the cure to the pestilence. Yes. But there is another sickness, a moral sickness within this foundation that pervades every member of this site and every member of the foundation. They have told you that we are monsters. Some of you may have realized we are not the monsters they believe us to be. But beyond that sickly wishes to eat, I wish to administer the cure. You are called him Mr. Fish. His name is Harold Dover. No, despite all they wish is to maintain their power. And they have the audacity to think that man can control nature. We don't control nature, we control threats. Threats such as yourself. Doctor, the kind of thing that might keep an ordinary person up at night shaking in fear. I'm not scared of you. I'm sure the world might be able to go on without the foundation, but it's a spiral into chaos. We are the ones who prevent that from happening. Chaos! You claim to prevent chaos, and yet look around. Your head is security, nowhere to be seen. Your head is research, more occupied with who to engage with than the present problem at hand. No, you do not wish to fight chaos. You only wish to maintain your own power. It is sickening, brother! Ah! Oh, brother! Ha! I knew it! I knew it! All of my planning, all of my work is coming to fruition. And the cherry on top is the mission of elations from one of the most dangerous You are more insane than I thought, Engelberg. Thank you for joining us after four years, but you really think you could usurp me in the middle of a containment breach? In this moment, I have absolute control over all of the site personnel. Not control of me, sir. <laughs> Woo! When everyone said you could be coming. Damn shame. Plus, crayon, vulnerable employees. Definitely shouldn't be the boss of this place. Yeah, and I have evidence too. Um, proof of, of malice and DNA from an attack and, and evidence that these codes were used when they disappeared. This is a very hefty file we have against you, Psychedge. <laughs> I know exactly what's in here, and I think the Overseer Council and the Ethics Committee will be very interested to see this. Now, how dare you? No, the O5 Council will, will hear about this. And they you will not care, Sighthead. Your ambition was a threat to them. This is just the last nail in the coffin. As a emergency measure of the Ethics Committee, I am suspending you in your position as Sighthead. Instead, we are going to place Dr. Eckelberg, the most qualified, in fact, only qualified personnel here in charge. <laughs> Unfortunately, it is. Congratulations, Sighthead. <laughs> Are the lot of you done? I hate to break it to you, Dr. Eckelberg, but I do not intend to leave a site for you to run. The pestilence has taken root among many in this site, and it could spread quickly. I am not a man who takes chances. The cure will be administered to all very soon. I can't let you do that, Doc. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, David, you're just the man. Get it. Get it. Get it. Right? 
You have to do it yourself. Well, team, I'm hearing this is our chance to get out of Dodge. So what do you say? Saved by the time loop? Same by the time loop. Thank you all very much for your help this evening. It's really been extremely, extremely helpful. You're an absolute We appreciate you very much. The Critical Hazard Assessment Team has been proud to be in service. We've been proud to have you. Be safe, okay? Sherman, you'll be safe as well. You as well, Wesley. Thank you. Thank you for your service. Oh, thank you for your service. Well, I guess that went as well as it ever does. I mean, have a nice life, I suppose. We're literally a Montauk. We're literally a Montauk, and they're not telling us. Um, but Best of luck in your next run. Thank you very much. Thank you for your work today, Dr. Sherman. I mean, you'll be out of the time soon. You'll be safe. Let's go now. Look, Doctor, the O5 will be watching you with great interest. Much appreciated for your time here. Thank you. Got anything to say to the audience, BTS, before we sign off of the stream? Thank you all for watching our show. Um, thank you for participating online. We really appreciate you all. We're running the rest of the weekend here in LA. If you're in LA, you still got a couple days to come see this show before it goes. Cure me. I mean, don't cure me. Save me from the mask. <laughs> Cure, but not that kind of cure. Yes. Not capital C cure. This happened before where people thought they were curing me and they did not. They did not. It got worse. All right, chat. That is the end of our show. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll have video on demand up later. But until then, I'll see you guys back in San Francisco. Be safe, be well. Thank you for listening. Site42 Studios and its staff are funded by viewers like you please become a patron or visit our merch store at the link in our bio to support our work.
Secure. Contain. Protect.